Hey YouTube, and this ends up on Facebook, Facebook. Boys and girls, I'm gonna get into a little conspiracy theory with you, kinda. Um, I see, how do I start? I, I've been wanting to make this video for weeks because it pertains to what's going on. Um, all right, I'll break it down, make it simple to start with, and then you'll you'll get where I'm coming from. <clears throat> if you had a group of people in a room, and somebody came in, just pissed off at the world, you could see it in their face, you could feel it coming from them. They're just pissed off. What happens? The mood of the room will drop. It will get angry, sad, confused, whatever it is, you, you will bring that room down in feeling. Just like if you come in smiling, cracking jokes, hey everybody, what's going on? You'll lift up everybody. Even if they were mad, over there by themselves, you will affect that one person. Even if it's just a little bit, you'll bring them up a little bit. All right, I tell you that because this China virus, COVID, has got the world in turmoil, um, and it seems especially in the United States because I don't, I don't think most of the world's reacting as bad as we are. Uh, but I, I think it's on purpose. Just like now they're, you know, screaming about the numbers. I mean, they, they cannot let it go because it's instilling fear into people. And, and I check out a lot of different Facebook feeds and on purpose, you know, uh, local news channels and stuff, and there's so many Karens on there that it ain't even fucking funny. They are all just into it big time. They, they have bought into the fear. They love the fear. They are embracing the fear. It's like it gives us something all to hang on to. I, I don't know what it is. But, and there's talk of uh, mandating masks now uh, by the government, not by, you know, your Walmarts and stores and stuff that require it. That's one thing. But when the states seven, eight, nine months into this are now talking about mandating masks, when it's about gone, literally, it's about gone. I check the numbers, I do. Last week, 1,500 people in the entire country died of supposed COVID. That's with them padding the numbers and they can only come up with 1,500. We're at 51% of what norm, of people that normally die. We're at, last week, the entire nation was half of the deaths that normally occur. Half. And that's probably because shutdowns and what have you, not as many people traveling, so there's not as many car deaths and, you know, so on and so forth. People getting hurt at work, dying at work, not as many people employed right now. So it all comes into play. But still, we're at half of the normal deaths that we normally have. And the media and the government continue to hype something that is petering out. I mean, it's literally petering out. They, that's why they keep telling you about the number of new cases. I don't tell you about the death count because those numbers don't account for anything anymore. 
they, they're, they're null and void. They're like, hey, well, we can't talk about the deaths because uh, the death rate's uh, dropping to damn near nothing. So let's talk about how many new cases we got. Oh, look, there's a thousand new cases. And those new cases may be people that had it and just showing that they have antibodies in their system. I'm, I'm gonna play their game and just say the ones they tested that showed positive had it. So we'll just play their silly little game. Um, but anyway, with mask, gets back to the um, where I started with a room full of people. You can't see somebody smile. You got people living in fear. You got people scared. Of their own freaking shadow, almost. Um, it's all worldwide. They're trying to bring the world down through fear. And people are falling for it. That's just one part of the puzzle I wanted to point out that um, a lot of head games going on right now. And I think part of the head games is to keep us living in fear. Because when we're in fear, they can pass and do things they can't normally do. If you're happy and everything's good, you're not gonna give up anything. If you're in fear, you're more likely to bow down and say, yeah, that, that's, you're right, we, we need this. If everything's good, we're all happy, we're all make, making a paycheck, and we're buying new cars and trucks and whatever, you're not gonna give, we're not gonna bow down and say, oh yeah, then I'm not giving up shit. You're in fear, they can get shit done that they want done. And there's more to it than that, but anyway, hope that made sense. Later, YouTube.